Dear audience, today we will talk about Cisco Small and Medium Business Engineer. This certificate is similar to the Cisco Small Medium Business Sales, but there are little bit variations with respect to the technical aspects. So shortly we can say that it is SMBE 700-750. So I'm your trainer, Dr. Maksud Mahmood for this course. So your agenda will be, uh, we, will, we will go for introduction of this certification, that how this certification is important, what are the ingredients in it, and then we'll go for the structures, different modules and different types of questions which will be um, like coming in this exam. Uh, then we'll go for conclusion and question answer in the comment. So this certificate is a 90 minutes exam and it's associated with the Cisco Small and Medium Business Engineering Specialization. Uh, moreover, uh, this, uh, this exam certifies um, a person uh, with the knowledge of key concepts of uh, strategies, solutions that define Cisco approach to the SMB's market. And moreover, you need to analyze the market trends, what are the different trends, evaluate the significance of the brand presence and the inclusivity, and moreover, enabling the technology. Uh, this course will like, you know, help the, the students to prepare for these exams and we will have some guidelines for it and moreover I, in the second video i will give you some examples about each module so let's see the contents of this exam so the first content is which is like you know there are 11 different parts nine parts are 10 percent while the remaining two parts are five percent right so we will see that what are 10 percent and what are the five percent in that one the first part is the partnership opportunities with the Cisco. So in this one, the engineers need to know that who are the partners and where it could be like, you know, helpful. So you, they need to understand, the engineers need to understand market trends influencing the SME sector. Moreover, they need to differentiate about the roles and types within the Cisco ecosystems. Uh, understand Cisco partner strategies. Like what are the strategies their partners are doing? For example, Cisco is partnership with, uh, let's suppose, uh, Dell. So how they are like, you know, collaborating with each other. If Cisco is like, you know, partnership with the hyper, hyper uh, Lulu market. So how, what are the strategies for that, for that one? If, for example, Cisco is, has a partnership with the Walmart uh, systems, so what are the different strategies? So all different offices we, we have with the with Babco or with the Aramco or any like you know partners they have it. And moreover, they need to understand managed service uh, P, uh, managed service provider. So that's called MSP. So and MSP is in the now modules. They will be we will be talking more about the MSPs and the different opportunities and the service center approaches. Second most important thing is how the engineer they can enhance the people they can enable the people uh, so that they were they could work effectively their productivity could be increased right so we need they need the engineers need to examine the strategies for enabling the employees to maximize their potential means for, like a uh, productivity i mean and then understand the methods what are the methods so we can enhance like you know our physical workspace uh, like uh, in offices and also online remote and we need to understand how to empower the IT uh, teams to facilitate efficient operations. Exploring the SMB experiences, like, you know, <clears throat> so the engineer, they need to analyze uh, the benefits of Cisco SMB experience. What do they offer it, right? They need to understand specific solutions, which is offered by SMB's experiences and functionality. And moreover, they need to understand SMBs can leverage Cisco experiences on their advantage. So the fourth most important thing is navigating the hybrid works, uh, workforce experiences, right? So 10% of the questions will be ca coming from this one that how we can like, you know, um, uh, navigate or like, you know, switch from like, you know, from physical to the non-physical or from, uh, from like, you know, one uh, from the virtual to the physical and hybrid, like, you know, work, how we can do that one. So we, as we know that, like, you know, we can save the time of the people when they are working online remotely. So by this way, we can save some of their times. So we need to uh, recognize the importance of like, you know, hybrid workforce experience. Uh, we know we need to know that how 
uh, how hybrid experience catered the needs of SMBs and we need to about uh, cross-selling and upselling strategies as I told you in the previous video that cross-selling means like uh, uh, if you want to sell your like you know products if you want to increase the selling through other like you know partners or upselling means like you know by, by increasing your like uh, by increasing your selling um, you know, within your organization and the fourth most important thing understand the application of hybrid solution across diverse industries and verticals the fifth uh, the questions would be coming from the fifth domain which is adopting the remote workforce uh, experience so sometime uh, like you know people are not used to it like how to like you know work on that so engineers they need to uh, uh, make the people enable and how they can work on the on the remote so they need to see what are the challenges people are facing uh, with the remote or distributed teams they need to evaluate they need to pro they need to conduct some surveys that how we can evaluate the products and opportunities they need to determine a strategy for cross selling and upselling in the remote smbs market uh, moreover uh, they need to examine the remote solution in various industries and verticals for example which solution would be more better microsoft teams or whether the zoom or other like you know different google class what are the different things which could be easily available or any vpn we have it uh, security is most important thing as we know that like you know uh, we should not understand we should understand the digital security the firewalls we should understand uh, uh, antiviruses and what are the different like you know um, solutions which smbs we have it from the cisco side and understand the physical security and environmental solutions and uh, uh, because it leads to, to the sustainability of uh, UN uh, 17 different SDGs and then determine the strategy to cross-selling and uh, upselling secure solutions. So we already talked about that one, but the strategy means like, you know, feature vision. And then the fourth thing is analyze application of secure solution across different industries and the vertical. Seventh is about implementing smart IT. So as I told you that nowadays we are have a smart uh, home, smart devices, IOTs, so, uh, and then how to inter interpret the data meaningful insight from decision making, um, like understand Cisco smart portfolios and determine cross selling and upsetting, same thing. And then you need to recognize the real use cases from the, from the, uh, from the real world and what are the real stories, use cases for different like, you know, companies so that you get more insight uh, from it. Uh, application performance. Uh, like you know understand cisco role there what is the role of the cisco uh in ensuring the their, their application security uh, how the cisco devices are accessible to the different partners and how what how their resilience resilience means like you know this the system could not be broken and identify key application relied upon the SM, smb there what are the key applications we have it and uh, and determine positioning strategy that is very most most important thing as most of the questions they come from the positioning strategies uh within the smbs and they recognize case studies success stories to showcase the application performance for the engineers uh the ninth one which is uh, like you know uh, five percent is exploring platforms so uh the engineers need to understand and the role and capabilities of platforms in enhancing the customer experience so if the, if the customer is happy so it means more revenue more like you know revenue you are generating if the customers are not happy so it means you cannot uh, generate more revenue describe deployment options and products situation within the platforms like what are the deployment options where you can deploy your like the hardware and softwares um, cisco is not mostly like you know dealing with the uh, with the hardware options and they have the uh, internal ios as well uh, examine user experience and extens extensibility through API. So, how we can use the applic uh, application programming interface to extend their like you know use and uh, uh, use in the different uh, environment. The last thing is evaluate uh, SaaS service uh, service uh, software as a service application impact and insight and automation integration. Nowadays, people they they like licensing and they uh, they don't want to like you know download their um, uh, whole like software because uh, because of the storages and uh, other uh, technical issues so they they like software as a service like you know they want to uh, like you know buy their certificates uh, or uh, to to use it for like you know one month or uh, two months or ten months like you know uh, like you know subscriptions you can say
and this 5% is about understanding the uh, BVD. So what is a BVD, the business value demonstration? So the engineers need to understand the importance of business value demonstration that how this is important for the Cisco. Uh, they need to explore tools available for outstanding uh, pre-release engagement, describe the demo platform and their application and SMB scenarios. And uh, they need to explain the use of the cloud uh, tool and the topology builder uh, because topology means that how your network is spreaded, how whether it's uh, what kind of topology, whether it's a star topology, whether it's a bus topology, whether it's like a ring topology. So mostly like, you know, star topologies are being adopted, but you need to know about the topologies we have it. So the so the topology builder is like they have a tool software which helps you to to visualize the topology and the CML uh, in the demonstration. And then the eleventh uh, the last uh, thing is about introducing engineering uh, programs like uh, understand engineering resources because this uh, certificate is built especially for engineers so they need to they, they the engineers need to need to know about what are the different like you know resources for the engineering and their roles in achieving the sales success. So how the sales can be like, you know, uh, built and promoted. Uh, understand sales uh, connect, how we can connect to the sales people and uh, black belt for enhanced sales performance. And uh, the third thing is understand DISTI uh, pre-sales uh, support options and Miraki CMNA programs. And the last thing, most important thing is understand the benefits of technical assistance center. So how we can use the technical assistance center for any like, you know, debugging or any problems which occurs and also global virtual engineering and the DevNet. So these are like, you know, certain modules, 11 modules. And in this one, uh, the question will be based on this, on, on these 11 different domains. So in the next video, I will give you some more uh, examples so that you can understand it, what kind of questions are coming, what are the ticks and techniques in the questions and how you can like, you know, successfully understand these techniques and uh, give answer to you to this one and pass this exam successfully. So see you in the next video. Stay tuned with us.